You're watching this video because you want to know if you have wind damage to your roof, how to identify it, and what to do once you've identified it. To boil it down into two main categories, the types of wind damage are missing shingles and wind creek shingles. When it comes to missing shingles, it's pretty obvious. If shingles are missing from your roof, you've probably got wind damage. If you have large section of shingles blown off of your roof, you are likely able to see the underlayment, the material that goes underneath the shingles, and this is a clear sign that you have wind damaged missing shingles. Now, a scenario where it's less obvious is if you have small amounts of shingles that have been damaged and a large section hasn't been removed. A key sign to see if you have this type of damage is if there is darker rectangular areas on your roof. Why would there be darker areas? Whenever a shingle is installed, they are laid over top of each other and you only see about half of the actual piece of shingle after that roof has been put together. Whenever a shingle is in the process of being damaged by the wind, it is flapping in the wind and eventually will fall off. Whenever that section falls off, it leaves a new section of shingle exposed to the sunlight that wasn't exposed before. Now these areas are normally darker than the rest of the roof. Why is this? Because the rest of the roof has been exposed to UV light, the sunlight that deteriorates and breaks down that material. That normally lightens up the color of that material. That freshly exposed section of shingle is normally darker than the rest of your roof. This is a great way to identify if you have wind damage on a minor scale. When attempting to identify wind damage, if you find any shingles on the ground around your home that are of similar color to your roof, I suggest having a roofing contractor come out to inspect your roof just to make sure that there isn't any areas on your roof that have missing shingles that you can't see from the ground. This way you can prevent any issues down the road that may arise from prolonged missing shingles on your roof. The second type of wind damage is wind grease shingles. Whenever a shingle is installed, there is a bond line that bonds those shingles together. That tar bond line is what helps to prevent shingle from being damaged by wind. It seals the shingles down. Whenever that bond line breaks, that shingle is able to then flap in the wind. And there is a pivot point where that flapping happens that will crease on the shingle. A wind crease shingle is actually quite hard to see to the untrained eye. When inspecting for wind crease shingles, look for a dark line at the very top of the shingle where the shingle above it ends. This is a sign that that shingle has been flapping in the wind, and this type of damage is actually insurable damage if you are considering moving forward with an insurance claim. When it comes to wind damage, regardless of the type, you might not be able to see it from the ground. So it's important to call a trusted roofing contractor to come out and inspect your roof regularly, especially after a storm or if you think you have some type of roof damage. This way, the repairs to your roof can be made immediately. And if you are considering making an insurance claim, the roof can be dried in so that your home is protected in the meantime while the insurance process begins. My hope is that this video was helpful for you in identifying wind damage on your roof. If it was, check out our learning center where you can learn about other topics like how to identify damage from fallen trees or from a hail event. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can watch more videos just like this.